Hey guys, it's Boki here from Gigi's Fabric Shop and home of Janome Junkies. And today we're gonna do a quick little how-to on the Janome 9400. So this video is gonna apply to the 9400 as well as the 9450 since the 9400's been kind of phased out, but they're literally identical twin machines. So all the features are really gonna be the same. So stay tuned for a really fun video. And if you like my shirt, you can twin with me. We're gonna put a link in the bio for you guys. It has our cute little Gigi's Fabric Shop logo on the back. And it's a pretty awesome shirt. It's unisex, really nice, kind of like marble look to it. So if you want to match with me, definitely check out the description in this video and you can grab yourself one as well. So let's get to it. Alrighty y'all, so let's address the thread first because that's really where threading starts. So here I'm working with my Glide 40 in the beautiful cobalt color. This is a 100% polyester thread that's made here in the United States and it's such a beautiful shiny thread that is virtually lead free. So we're going to take our thread and we're going to pop it in this little stand right here. Okay, this lifts up. You want to make sure you're using a spool cap that is the closest in size to the actual spool itself. So I usually always use this one because I'm always working with glide. So you can pop it in just like that and the thread will just start unraveling. You can always loosen this up a little bit too so the thread feeds off nice and smooth. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the machine with a nice little needle down needle up. That's going to put the machine in the perfect position so that way the needle threader works every single time. Step number two is going to be we're going to lock this machine right here with the little key. I know the LED screen is acting crazy but that's unfortunately how the machines look. It doesn't on look camera. like that. On camera it looks like that. It's just... Let's the, see if the, I get lighting off of it. Yeah let's see. No. No it just does it y'all but it doesn't look like that in person. <laughs> so this is just how the it, how it looks when we're recording on camera. Unfortunately there's not really much I can do about it. Maybe we'll research how to fix that but all you're gonna do is hit it with this little lock key. Okay so what the lock button's gonna do is it's gonna lock the mechanics of the machine A for safety, lock all your tension gears okay and then it's going to put the presser foot down so you have a full clearance so you can you know thread the needle with no problem. All right so here is going to be a nice little light look at that retractable light that you can pull out here. I That's just pretty cool. wanted to highlight that because a lot of machines don't have it and it's actually adjustable as well. So you can like wiggle it. It's pretty awesome. All right, y'all, let's get into the threading. So that'll be cool if somebody didn't know they had that on their machine. Oh, yeah. And it was yes. their machine that has it. Oh my gosh. It's like, oh. It's like, what? It's <laughs> convertible. All right, y'all, grab your thread kind of like you're flossing your teeth. All right. You're going to hold it nice and tight and you're going to start under here for step number one. All right. Bringing it around for step number two, your little tension guide unit is in here. So there's a tension in here. So you wanna make sure you're nice and tight in there like you're flossing the machine. You're gonna kind of drop down now, um, wrapping around for step number three, bringing it back up for four. You're gonna go from right to left and you'll hear it kind of click in. All right, so now that we're gonna come back down for four, we're gonna get kind of eye level with the machine and we're gonna use our thumb to put it into the fifth one, which is just a thread guide right here. So use your thumb to guide you, okay? Next up is gonna be number six. You wanna get into this thread guide right here. So get it all the way in. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you're all the way to the left in this little cubby right there. You see that? You see how my thread's all the way in? If it's out here, it's gonna pop out. So you wanna make sure it goes all the way to the left. Next is going to be the little crab claw. You're gonna take that thread and you're gonna slide it right in between the little claw. And then you're gonna bring it around. There is a thread cutter right on the side of the machine right here, okay? And if you bring it from back to front, it'll just cut the thread. And then we're going to lower it down and press and it should thread the needle with no problem just like so okay if it's not threading it might be because you popped out of this little guy you need to make sure it's all the way in there also keep in mind that if you're using a very small needle anything smaller than an 8012 chances are the needle threader will not work and if you've tried all that and it's still not working it's probably because it's bent out of place and it's time to replace it so that is how you thread this machine when you're all done you just have to unlock it tuck your thread in underneath and you are ready to go. Just alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something out of it. We're gonna be doing a lot of shorts on this video, so make sure you like and subscribe and comment below if you have this machine and maybe what's your favorite feature about it or what you wanna see next. 
We love hearing feedback from you guys. If you want to take it to the next level and you just love us so much, you can follow us on um, Genomi Junkies on Facebook. We have um, subscribers in there. It's a great little support group where you can ask your questions and talk to fellow Genomi owners. So check that out as well. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because we do post every week on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that so you never miss another informative video ever again. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to give us a call. It's 813-661-9000 um, or send us an email with any questions or concerns trying to find your perfect machine for you it's sewing machines with an s 411 at gmail.com don't forget if you want to twin with me the description is down the link is in the description below so you guys can grab your shirt we have lots of different shirts in our app and they are super comfortable i promise you they're truly truly awesome so check that out too and thank you so much for watching bye <laughs> do it again